guys, it's my niece. I just wanted to do a super quick review video on Argan Heat flat iron. Um, the reason why it's gonna be really, really quick is because I've been using this flat iron since I was in my freshman year of college, which was in 2011, it's now 2015, so I've been using this flat iron for four years. Um, and I've been really, really pleased with it. Until recently, I just found that it just seemed to be like start, sort of losing its steam. I'm gonna, I just realized I probably haven't cleaned it in a long time, so I'm gonna wipe it down with a warm rag and try to see if maybe that'll get some of the oily residue of like all the heat protectant and oil I've used over the years. Maybe that'll help to get some of the old steam back. I do love my old flat iron. But anyway, I was getting tired of having to go over the same sections over and over again with the flat iron, so I decided to try a new one. I went on recommendation and I got this Argan, this Argan Heat flat iron, which of course is by Babyliss as well, so I was really, really excited to see. It's a little bit thicker, which helps me um, with my weaves because it's not as tiring as trying to straighten some hair. It can do bigger sections now, and it's also infused with Argan oil. I must say, I'm in love with this flat iron. I was considering getting a thinner one to kind of match this size for my regular hair because it is, like my real hair, because it is so awesome. Like it, this, it reminds me when I first got my original blue flat iron, the other babyless one. It just gets your hair so sleek and shiny and straight and you don't have to have it up super, super high. The only issue that I did have with this is that the heating is done differently. Like it's on a different scale, which is kind of weird. Um, I don't like that when you're using the dial. It's the same thing with the other flat iron, but I don't, this is just a general complaint. I don't like that when you're using the dial, it's not clear num clearly marked with the numbers because if, let's say a friend uses it or you put it in your bag and someone accidentally turns the dial, you don't know exactly what heat you've been straightening your hair on. Like for example, I'll try and show you. If you see, mine is somewhere in between 20 and 25. I don't know, I mean, you would guess that that's like 23, but if I turn it slightly to the right, I'm still not quite on 25 yet. So how am I supposed to know what heat I'm on? Let me turn it back before I burn my hair off. But yes, my concern is that I might potentially go too high one day or go too low and have to go over over and over again and be wondering why my flat iron's not working the same way. So it would have been nice if they had been consistent with the numbering. And then also, for the dial, I mean really, it shouldn't be too hard to just put some extra numbers on here so we know exactly what number we're using because that actually is really super important. Otherwise, the flat iron is wonderful. I mean, overall, I give this product like a nine out of 10. I really, really enjoy using this product. Um, I will, like I said, I'm consider once I get some more money, I'm certainly considering going back and buying uh, another one at the half inch instead of the one inch iron, because I just, I love it so much. I'm very, very pleased. Good job with the infusing of the argan oil. I definitely see the shininess and the, just the sleekness that comes with using this flat iron. I am very, very pleased. So, if you have any questions about my argan, if you have any questions about the one and only argan heat flat iron pro provided by Babyless Pro, then email me at reviewsbymyasia at gmail.com. We can certainly talk about other products and tools that will help you in addition to this wonderful flat iron. Have a great night.